Realtor Allison Farnley is passionate about investing in Connecticut homes. In fact, a large percentage of her clientele are investors, but in the current economic climate, how enticing is real estate in the Nutmeg State? Well, Allison is here to tell us, and for some real estate uh, uh, is pretty contrarian to equities such as stocks. So how popular is real estate investing as opposed to maybe going the market route? It's very popular, actually. I have a lot of clients that uh, come to me looking for an investment that they just, at this point, want to beat the, the numbers that they can get in the stock market or, or investing in bonds. And, and with the prices being a little softer in real estate mm -hmm. lately, we've, uh, I've been able to uh, make that happen for a lot of my clients. It's been a, a great opportunity for, for them to either uh, buy a property that they can then turn around as an uh, to lease out, mm -hmm. become a landlord in a sense. Yes. So uh, that's one of the more successful formulas I have. And individuals who have money to invest find this to be a, a popular, a positive thing to do. Um, but landlording isn't necessarily as easy as it sounds. If it if it no. was, everybody would do it, true, right? True. So what what are the? How do you make it successful? Uh, you have to obviously invest just as you would be investing personally. You want to make sure that you're buying a, a great location. You're buying a property that as you would have bought it to live in that you would want that someone else would want to live in as well. And that usually uh, turns into a great rental. You want to look for good schools. You want to look for good uh, bones of a house. And then you want to maintain it properly so that it's appealing to the rental market and price it properly. And that's where a good realtor comes in to, to determine absolutely, those things, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Always the first thing you want to do is work with somebody that you absolutely trust that, that can give you the information on the area and information on, on the, your investment, whether it's for yourself or as an investment property to become a landlord. And and working within your budget and understanding what your budget restrictions are are uh, Im important before you start this process. I understand too that you have a formula that, uh, that you go by. Can yes. you explain this for us? I mean, it's a simple formula. Basically, you're looking at the investment that you've made minus any kind of uh, maintenance, taxes, insurance uh, that has to go into to the property. Um, and then you take that, uh, your profit, and you, you Put, you know, compare that to your investment and it gives you your return on investment. If that, if that is outperforming the stock market, then I've done a good job for my clients. That's okay. sort of the rule of thumb for me. Now, flip side of the coin here is market value because in recent times, of course, like you were talking about, prices have been soft, yes. which is great if you have the capital to buy something. But Correct. Uh, is that a good, and especially if a lot of people are underwater with their mortgages as it is right now. So um, what's the upshot and for whom? With the foreclosures or the yeah, people or just water. yeah, just with the market conditions as they are right now. Well, I, really, for my investment clients, it, that makes it the better opportunity. They can pick up properties that are undervalued and turn them into lucrative uh, business opportunities. On the flip side, the people who put potentially had foreclosed or are having difficult times financially help the process because they end up looking for the places to rent. So the rental market's been very strong. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a win-win in, in this situation. I mean, it's unfortunate when people have to downsize or have difficult financial times, but it also offers the opportunity for these people to, to, to buy the properties and be able to successfully rent them out and have the profit and the return. Now, I realize there's probably no one pat answer, so I'm kind of putting it on the <laughs> spot, but people also buy to flip, yes. so flipping or renting. Is one generally, can you even say that one is more popular or better, more advantageous right now? Uh, it's different. One is a long-term investment and one is a probably more of a short-term f the flip uh, mm -hmm. opportunity. It, it can be just as lucrative, obviously. In that case, you're buying locations that are either um, tired or, or uh, not maintained that well, the property. So it's either they're not knocking down the house and rebuilding it or renovating. The buyers that are out there today absolutely are paying premiums for new construction or perfectly operating houses. Nobody wants to get into a house today, spend a lot of money on it with unknown costs. Everyone's right. very sensitive to their financial um, situations and don't want to take a lot of risk. So if, if you have the capital to invest and you look for a property that is undervalued or under maintained and you think you can if you have that money to fix it up, you will do well in, in reselling it because that's what the buyers want today. As long as you're not uh, bleeding to death from the cash flow. True, issue. true, true. All right. Allison Farnley, thank you very much, a realtor, thank you. and obviously with a lot to, uh, to dispense about real estate investing. For more information, go to our website, WTNH.com, and click on Good Morning Connecticut.